if you plot 3x square, it's a minus 2, 2, and 3. So 3x square plus, so first draw x square. x square is like this, right? Sorry. Symmetric. It's an even function. Then 3x square will be a bit sharp like this. A bit more scaled, a bit more sharp. And plus 5 is nothing but scaling up the y-axis. Hello, guys. Welcome to Chinta School of Statistics and Data Science. We are a team of extremely passionate teachers, researchers, and statisticians from the top universities of India and USA. Our mission is to help you curve your career in statistics, data science, and machine learning. To book a trial class for your preparation courses of IITGM MS, ISIM Stat, and CMI MS Data Science, check out the first link in the description below. If you're enjoying the video, show some love by liking the video and subscribing to the channel. We welcome you again to this passionate community of budding statisticians and data scientists. Let's enjoy the rest of the video. Stay tuned and stay. Now you have got, if you replace that, you will get y minus one by 10 because you have got the fx. So now if you have, now if you want to calculate f of y of, so you have got what? You have got f of y of y is nothing but y minus one by 10. Now, if you want to for y is between 11 and greater than 1, right? Now, if you want to do a derivative of it to get the PDF, you will get, and of course, before that, it's 0. So, if you want to do the derivative of it, derivative of it you will get 1 by 10 uh, for 11 and 1 and 0 otherwise. Okay, you can prove it. It's simple by doing the derivative. So, you can see it's a constant function, which means it's uniform in 1 comma 11. Hence, it's uniform between 1 comma 11. And you can see that the option is this. Uh, option is not right. 2y minus 10? I don't think so. Because it was x plus 2 by 5. It was x plus 2 by 5. Sorry, x plus 2 by 5. <laughs> in that x, you put y minus 1, y minus 5 by 2, right? So this gets to 4. So y minus 5 plus 4, y minus 1 by 2. And this 2 and 5 gets, did you understand? So understand that, therefore, this is not true. It would have been true if it was 11, OK? So therefore, this is not true. Similarly, you can solve this similar question. You understand in any linear function, you can prove any linear function will always, the output will be a uniform distribution. Just you have to remember the support. You have to understand to calculate the support first. So how to calculate the support now? It's simple. 7 minus 6x has uniform minus 11, 19. So what can you do here? You can again do like minus 2, 3. Where does this go under this function? 7 minus 6 times minus 2. And this must go 7 minus 6 times. 3. So this turns out to be minus 11 and this turns out to be 19. So as you have, as I have told you, remember that this sign is negative, right? Minus 6x. So the this will be reversed, which makes sense, right? So this will be uniform minus 11, comma, because the whole random variable is reversed. The values are reversed. All positive become negative, all negative become positive. So that's why it's coming out to be like this. 3 is reversed. But essentially, you want to see the actual picture. So it's minus 11 to 19. Got it, guys? So this is the right answer. OK, but it's not complete yet because we have yet to discover what this two. Of course, these are not no, uniform because the last day I gave an example why it's not uniform. But today also I will give an intuitive example. I will not prove it. Proving will take some time. Let's try like to give you an intuitive example. Let's try to take mod x. I gave an example, gave the same example last day. But the basic idea is this. You have minus 2 to 3 right here. Um, it's this is one by five. This is the PDS initial uh, PDF, right? Now, if when you do this is x cup PDF. Now, when you do mod of x, what happens? If you do mod of x, all the negative becomes positive. So this part will go to this part, but all of them will go to zero comma two, right? So the new PDF will be between. Zero comma two only. Okay, so this is all this this this. So you can understand that this is nothing but what this is nothing but kind of 
the weight around like the chance of probability around that region okay every point has zero probability but if you consider a small interval around that so if you do f of x dx this is the probability that x will be between x and x plus dx okay but you cannot say f of x is a probability at x that is not true but if you multiply a small value of dx then it will give this so therefore you can see it's kind of 1 by 5 it's proportional to 1 by 5 okay that interval so now when you do the mod x all this minus 2 to 0 that reflects every every chance every chance around let's say minus 1 minus 0. 0.5 jumps to 0. 0.5 so what happens is that this one by five, this this area here, this area is what? So total is one by five. Total total is one. So this is minus two length. This is three length. So this is nothing but two by five, and this is nothing but three by five. This area, initially, on the left, on the negative part, the area was two by five. On the right hand side, it's three by five, right? Because of the weightage. Now this two by five got reflected on the right hand side. So what happened because of the mod x? so this one got reflected so now here it was initially th something so this whole thing got reflected so this became now this and this became this but this area should go to one right so initially here remember that so it was zero to two three here it was two by five again it was two by five this will be one by five right based on our length so here it was initially two by five it is 1 by 5. That whole 2 by 5 got reflected on the 0 to 2 region because minus 1.5 corresponds to 0 0.5. So this will be 2 by 5. So you can see the area at 0 to 2 essentially increased to 4 by 5. Okay. Because of the modulus thing. And why not in the 2, 3 region? Because it was 0 to minus 2. Okay. That's why. But uh, my question, what if what, what if it was minus 3 to 3? Would have would it become because then it would have been like this, right? Everything reflects. So that's your question to you, or thought food for thought question. That would it be in uniform if it, it like if you have x follows minus three to three, then the will mod x follow zero to three uniform? You understand because everything gets reflected. Okay, and probably you can prove that very easily. You can the way to prove is is the following. You can do probability mod x less than or equal to y. You know that y is between 0 to 3. So what you do? You do the simple stuff. You do that. If mod x is less than or equal to y, that means what? That means either x is less than y and greater than minus y, right? That is the only possibility. And therefore, you know that this is nothing but the length is 2y, right? So it's 2y. So it's integration minus y to y in the into the area. So it's 6 here. So it will be 1 by 6. So it will be what? 2y by 6. That is y by 3. Right? And then you differentiate, you will get 1 by 3. So you can prove actually you need a better writing than I want you to write down because it will be then a bit of clarity to you that it essentially it will become uh, uniform. Okay? Because of this reflection property, all the weights, all the area gets added up. So it's, it, this is the geometrical interpretation of it. Okay? So similarly, when you do x square, everything gets added up on the right hand side or the minus thing so here you can see that let's see it's minus two so therefore finding the support is a very important thing so now let's see three x square plus five where does it go so at minus two the value is so it's like this uh, no not three x so three x square uh, plus five uh, should look like this right this function and of course it's symmetric around zero so at 2 and minus 2, it, it takes, so the maximum value it can take is at 3, right? Because it's a function like this. So therefore, let's put 3. So it's 9 into 3, 27, 32. So this goes to 32. And of course, x square can be greater than equal to 0. So the minimum value is 5. So 3x square plus 5 is greater than equal to 5. So it's 5, comma 32. So therefore, this whole thing has been transformed to 5, comma 32. Okay, so I would suggest you to do first x square. x square will be sim some similar to this, but unfortunately, in x square minus 0 0.5 doesn't correspond 
to 0 0.5. It corresponds to 0 0.25, right? So left to for you to understand that th for three x square or similar any random function x, how can you actually move it? How can you actually uh, change it to uh, like? How do you really find out the distribution? And that is the entire topic of transformation of random variables, and we have devoted one week in our platinum course for that. Okay, that's very important to know. Okay, so this is this was a very important question, and I know I have ex I have almost spent forty five minutes to explain this question, but I, I I am sure that you will never forget the idea ever, and that's why it's important. We are not doing just math, you know, just uh, random problem solving out here. We want you to understand in so depth. That you never forget it again. It's in your gene forever, math gene, let's say. So that's why you want to spend so much time and not do like quick hand solutions, quick hand dis discussion of like objective way. 